Now the experiment of the electron transfer that we saw just now, that has got an interesting thing and that is when, when zinc was getting deposited on, uh, when the copper was getting deposited on zinc and zinc was getting converted into zinc ion, some heat was evolved, okay. So, so, so in zinc, in zinc, the overall reaction can be this, can be written as the sum of the two half reactions we say, okay. So, so Zn plus Cu2 plus gives me Zn2 plus plus Cu. because that gets cancelled. We had our half reactions as this, okay, and we had our, so, so this is what, this is oxidation reaction, okay, what is oxidation? Loss of electrons, so this is losing electrons. This is gaining electrons. So, so this is reduction reaction. So, what will happen? If I, if I sum them, it becomes Zn plus Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons giving me Zn2 plus plus Cu plus 2 electrons. We have studied in physics class 12th that charge get, is conserved, okay, charge is conserved. So the electrons that have been, been given out here has to be accepted by someone, fine, cannot just keep on moving around and, and, and they cancel. So, so I get CU, right? This is the reaction that was written there. Similarly, the silver reaction, what were the, what was the half reaction? So, it, it is, it is zinc copper, correct? This is zinc copper. And, and then there is, there is heat, which is also denoted as this, okay? How about, how about Copper silver, the zinc copper sulfate, right? This is silver nitrate. What what happened there? Here Cu became Cu two plus plus two electrons. What must have happened in silver? Silver plus an electron gives you this. This is again oxidation reaction. This is reduction reaction. Correct? Now, now before you write the, the actual reaction, you should be balancing the charges otherwise they will not cancel and we are not there to cancel it rather we are trying to restore the sanctity of conservation of charge fine so it is not merely the cancelling that is in our mind so it becomes cu plus 2 ag plus giving me cu2 plus plus 2 ag and again there is heat Okay, so this plus two electron here and a two electron here, that gives you Cu plus two Ag plus, they cancel, giving me Cu2 plus, plus two Ag plus heat. Okay. And we, 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 that we will understand. And, and, and what happens, <coughs> what happens, <coughs> what happens 
is <coughs> what happens is that we see that there is an oxidation reduction reaction always going on okay so so this is a redox reaction that is going on both these reactions are redox reactions okay so 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 both are both the above are redox reactions both the above reactions are redox reactions correct now from where where do you think can heat come up any any guesses why should there be some heat coming up the answer is very simple so don't kind of get confused see for ionization of something you require some amount of energy that you call ionization energy okay or ionization enthalpy if you are talking about the bulk and when something gains electron then you have electron gain enthalpy correct correct so now what what should be happening why should you be getting heat released that means the amount of energy that is required for ionizing it is less than the amount of energy that gets released when when it gains that electron you understand what is happening is the amount of energy that i require to ionize it is less than the amount of energy than th that that uh, that is that is uh, that is uh, released when when an ion becomes a a a, a metal okay or or an element okay so what happens and so so what happens this heat gets released and the total energy of this product is less than what it was earlier in fact that is why thermodynamically it is it is it is doing that it is trying to reduce its energy no that's how all the chemical reactions take place what happens in the product you will find the energy of the product is is less than that of the reactants hmm? so so what happens so 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 that must be why this heat energy is getting released but now a question comes instead of this heat energy if i want to if i want to use this to do some useful work what what happens this heat energy that gets released due to this spontaneous reaction that somehow i am not able to tap okay but i know that it has this heat has been generated due to electron transfer okay it is due to electron transfer no someone has donated some electrons and someone has accepted it now if i remove the donor and the acceptor physically then somehow i can trap the electron when it is moving from the donor to the acceptor because currently what was happening the solution and the strip they were in such close contacts that i was not able to interfere in between the electron transfer okay so now if i separate it out let us see what happens so i set up something like this i take a beaker here and another beaker here okay and we put a zinc electron here and by zinc electron i mean 
by zinc electrode I mean a, a zinc rod or, or, or a zinc strip preferably zinc rod Strip will immediately melt. Strip means can. So, so this is zinc. And and zinc is dipped in zinc sulfate solution here. And copper and this is copper, copper is dipped in <coughs> in copper sulphate solution here. So, it is in copper sulphate solution. So, And I put a switch like this and something like that. Okay. Here you have to put something called called this is called a salt bridge this is called a salt bridge it will soon become clear why do we require a salt bridge Okay. Which salt is used for this? Many potassium nitrate, sodium. Normal salt proper. Potassium chloride or ammonium nitrate. Here is potassium chloride or sodium nitrate it is boiled and it is made jelly like by boiling it with, with the substance called agar agar you you'll immediately understand why why that should be happening as long as the switch is off as long as the switch is off no reaction takes place okay but the moment you close the switch at time t equal to 0 Okay. What happens? What happens? Uh, the competition starts between these two. Okay. Now what happens? Zinc here wants to become to donate electron and become Zn2 plus and move into the solution. Here, zinc wants to come here from here. This zinc, it is trying to become Zn2 plus. But it is already Zn2 plus. This, this copper, this copper also wants to also wants to become Cu2 plus. Okay, but in this chaos, who wins? This wins. We have seen. Now, if this wins, it does not allow this to allow copper to do this. Okay, it does not allow copper to do this. 
so there is an excess of electron here what happens it leaves the electron here leaves the electron here leaves the electron here and keeps on jumping into the solution okay now what will happen due to this there will be an excess of zn2 plus around this okay and and the more that excess the less will be the the capacity for this to get get transferred because because then it is kind of an osmotic or a diffusion kind of thing that builds around this you understand so if it becomes very highly positive then the if if this this around this listen 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 around this if there is a huge positive charge build up what will happen the electron which and there is a negative here now now go to go to your electrostatic so there is a field from here to there okay now zn2 plus will not be able to travel in that direction you understand why because if I have a field like this, the positive charges experience a force in the direction of the field. Correct? So this positive buildup here has to be neutralized. And that is what is done by this salt bridge. Why does not it go back into the it, it cannot. Because this. So there is a charge build up here, there is a positive build up here, this charge, this charge travels through this wire, goes here, okay, and here the Cu2 plus sees an electron here, moves here, gets attracted by this negative, accepts an electron and becomes Cu. So what was happening in a strip and a solution has been separated out into beakers and now these reactions are taking place separately in two physical spaces separated by, by some distance. Now electron in this direction is equivalent to, to actual current in this direction. Now a similar kind of thing starts happening here. As these Cu2 pluses start going, going in, okay, as they start going in here, what happens? There is a deficiency of plus here. Okay, there is a deficiency of plus signs here. So what it was earlier compared to that, it starts becoming negative. Understand? And again, there is a positive negative, this thing, which needs to be restored. So, so that is what is done by the salt bridge. Understand? Even otherwise, otherwise try to think, the electron moving here is, is an open circuit. In a sense, it is an open circuit. So if you do not bridge it, then it will not keep on continuing, right? Though it will start with some current, gradually due to the forces that I mentioned, it will stop. So in a sense, electrically, this salt bridge is providing the electrical continuity of the whole system. Understand? So if you take it electrically, then this is the circuit completion. Okay? And if this gets exhausted of the salt, then it has to be replaced. Again, again it will become, become, a, become an open circuit. And it is not a closed circuit due to, due to the physical connection. It is closed circuit due to the movement of the electrons, the ions, right? Now, if, if I am able to do this and I put a bulb out here, then what happened? 